I am doing the last bag of six. And the one prior to that, I think, was six fifty six. There was one for seven fifty six. And it was a great bargain over in Chicago. I can't wait. It's one I almost left behind, guys, because I noticed it had a lot of bangles. I would have kicked myself if I didn't bring it home for this price. If I just get one thing in here that I like or that I can sell, it's going to be worth $6. For it. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Just a leather cord. This might work with a little child. It's not a real leather, so I'm not that impressed with this. But, uh, but unfortunately, the leather is really discolored. It's not um, very well done. Okay, here's a stretchy bracelet. I'll put that one in my granddaughter's lot. I'm actually sending her the lot that I had put together for her. She had such a great time with it. And then when I went to visit, she asked me about it. She actually said something about jewelry and so forth. You know, she's just starting to put sentences together. I sent it to her today. I put it in a... I actually had to figure out what kind of a box to put it in because I figured, you know, she's going to need a jewelry box. You can't just have jewelry without a jewelry box. So I found the cutest wooden jewelry box that I had. It's kind of small, not very big, and it's got a sun. It's just really pretty. So it all fit in there, and all those little stretchy bracelets went in there. Okay, this one says Genuine Leather China, but guys, this is why you always have to check and see if it's bonded leather because this happens. Ugh. And they do purses and belts like that. Oh, I hate that. A little trashy piece. Lots of trash in here so far. But that's okay. Oh, here's a nice one. It's stretchy, but it is nice. It really is. That's kind of cool. Somebody might like that. Maybe it's not plastic. These are metal. Bracelets are already stretched out. These are glass beads as well. Some bugle beads. Hmm. And a chain. I've seen where they do this with beads, too. They kind of like hug it around the bangle. Have you guys seen those? It's kind of pretty though. It's a very pretty color, kind of a rose color. Um, Bollywood or, you know, Pakistani and costumes when they do dances and things. Pretty rhinestone bangle. There's a few missing there. Bright yellow gold tone. Mirror light cutouts there. It's pretty. These are some beads and they kind of look like tiger eye or something. I don't know what they call this stone in the middle. It's very pretty. It's got that nice closure. Just a little button there. It's oh, pretty. something nice. This is very pretty. Oh, look at that. This is close in name. On the inside and on the outside. And then on the outside, it's blue. That's very nice, and that's a good size. Not quite as tight as the other one, but it doesn't look very big. Some of these are so big. See, like this bangle. It's just, they just fall right off me. Set here. This is pretty. It has sort of a floral design and then some other kind of texture. Three bangles there. Looks like they hadn't even bothered to price them. Some nice heavy pearls, imitation pearls, but they are on some on a stretch. Here's a heavy bangle, kind of hammered, just silver tone. Some shell. Oh, this looks like that necklace that we found in the other one. This looks like the anklet to it. The one we found in the other bag. That was a necklace, something pretty. This is one of those uh, drawstring type bracelets. That's really pretty. It's got roses and black beads. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's pretty. Oh, this is cute. It's a little, I don't know, is that pink? I mean, the, um, the metal looks pink too. Oh, it looks like imitation leather, but it's very cute. Let's clean that up and sell that. That's very cute. Here's a tangled piece. Larry, oh. when they have extenders, they're usually not sterling. All right, here's a pendant. Looks like a little rhinestone on there. That's pretty. No, no not genuine anything there. Okay, a heavy bangle that's silver. This one's not hammered. So that would make a nice little duo there. Here's a copper cuff. It's just colored though, but it is pretty. It's hammered. A little discoloration though, but you never know. That may that may go over. Such a pretty bracelet, but I don't like stretchy ones. They really lose their shape. And see how this one's already turning. So that's probably going to go into a donation lot. And here is the gold. This might make a nice duo as well to list together. You know, maybe ten dollars or something plus shipping. That's pretty. Some people really like those studs. 
and not just punk rockers lots of it's very fashionable right now they're putting them on shoes and everywhere so all right another little stretchy brace hulip another drawstring i am putting all of these type of bracelets into a boho lot but i don't know that's kind of a tulip rhinestone i don't know how boho and bangle i don't suspect that that is sterling in the least oh see here we got the three so this is even better everything the the law of threes always applies. That looks much better. Well, that's not bad. Even if it's a, even if it's a stretch, it looks bad. I mean, that looks good. <laughs> or bad in a good sense. <laughs> that looks nice. I like that. Interesting. These coil bracelets are so pretty. It's got like some kind of wire work there. These are all plastic beads, pearls. That's cute. That's really cute. Here we too. Oh my goodness. Cool. Four of the, of the stud ones. Oh, bummer. This one's missing the little jump ring. I may be able to fix it, but I don't think I would bother. That's kind of cool, though. All right, here is another. These are always really nice. I, I'm impressed with these. I think these are pretty. It's got some red bead. Some people like all of these boho styles. Here's another stretchy bracelet. Well, guys, I'm getting a little disappointed. Uh, this is cute. As I kind of suspected, oh, well, this one has a little homework, that it was not going to be, you know, a home run here with this one since it's Avenue, I think. Because I knew it was going to be all bangles, but this is cute. This may really sell on Posh or on eBay. I sell a lot of this gold tone costume jewelry. This is a pretty bracelet. And shiny and the color, it has retained its color and everything, so that is pretty. That will be. I can't tell if that is, I guess, like a little floral motif. Yeah, but it's missing some. It looks like it was vintage. Look at the little box class. No markings whatsoever, but that would have been pretty. If it, it might have even been repaired. No, it looks like it came this way, but it's missing about four of the moon stones or that are supposed to appear to simulate a moonstone. This is interesting. This is pretty. It's magnetic, but it's super magnetic on the closure. Wow, this is a nice fashion piece. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And that does have, is this Victoria's Secret? I've been seeing Elvira Bradley. Wow. I didn't even know she made jewelry. Now I'm finding bangles and everything. Well, that's kind of pretty. Never know. That might sell. Okay. Well, at least it's redeeming itself. It's pretty. It's got It's satin ribbons with gold tone. And that is super easy to put on, that's for sure. That's nice. I'm going to be able to sell that as well. So not too bad, not too bad. We're finding a few pieces yet. I was hoping this was not a stretch bracelet. This one's nice. I saw this one through the bag. This one's very nice. And it's it's not magnetic. It just kind of closes in there. Green with gold polka dots here and some gold beads. This is really cute. So that is very nice. These enamel bracelets look very rich. You know, you combine these with um, your real stuff. And what is that gold one I just put away? Looks good. Combine them with your real gold if you have some. And it all looks good. I really like this enamel bracelet. The heck is this? Oh my gosh. It's stretchy. And it must weigh two pounds. The thing is heavy. Really? That's pretty. That's very nice. And another coil with some interesting beads. Some Asian writing. Some crystal beads. Pretty beads on there. They really are. That's a pretty bracelet. That's worth listing. Silver tone bangle. Might have to pair that up with this one. Kind of looks like it belongs together. And then this was another one that I saw through the bag that I thought was interesting. It just says made in China there in the middle. If it'll polish up. Yeah, oh, that'll polish up nice. Yeah, that's pretty. Let's see what it looks it like. It looks like a um, watch band, but it's really heavy. A broken piece going into my rhinestone lot that I told you about, the stretch bracelet. AE. AE as well. AE. That's pretty. It's got a little charm there too. And then here is a bracelet that. Is that the way it closes? Or let me see. Oh, it's sterling. Finally. Finally. Bingo. All right, yeah, it says sterling on the inside there. Finally got something. 
Yeah, nice. Okay, what does it say? Here? 9 cz cc 925 So that's pretty. I had a bracelet like this that's kind of hollowed out in the front there. And it was so pretty, but it broke. It was just a little like a bypass. And I guess from using it so much, it broke. So this is nice. This is nice. I could sell this on eBay. Can you see the hallmark there? It's really, oh, let's see if I can't focus it for a bit. There it is. Anyway. It's right there. It's nice. I'm trying to figure out how to close it. I think you go in here. There it is. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Looks pretty secure. It's got a nice brush finish. So, yeah. I like that. That's super pretty. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice. All right, so that might work. We'll leave that on. There's another coil with some more pretty beads. Interesting beads like jet like some crystals. And here is a mixed metal piece. It looks like copper. It's definitely sticking. It's kind of snake like. I need to put together a lot with this kind of metals as well. I have a few of these. Finally, a ring. I never get rings. Oh, there it went. Okay, well, let's look at this real quick. Yeah, it's small enough for a bracelet. It's just a little cheap bracelet. Let's look at this ring, see if there's any hallmarks. It's like sterling, but maybe not. And it's not marked. They made the, they made the stones in the back. They opened to let the light in on the stones. This is really a pretty ring, though. Oh, there is one missing right there. I have to redonate that because I'm not going to list it. Here's the other silver one. So we have quite a few of these. Costume jewelry lot. What is this? From a store or something because it's got a little tag on it there. Who knows? <laughs> a little cluster there. There is one of these shell type bracelets. This still has the tag. Disney theme park merchandise. Buena Vista, Florida. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. All right. So that was that. That's pretty though. But this one has an H on it. But at least it's... I think it's supposed to look like Hermes or something, maybe. That's what they're trying to do. Or someone with the letter H as their initial would, might like that. Well, yeah, I thought it was broken, but it's two earrings. Very pretty. I like the colors on that. All right, well, we got something there, too. So these are plastic beads, which makes them lightweight. These are nice. And then we didn't get to look at this. And here is another wooden bracelet, another stretchy bracelet. I thought it was Claire's, but it has two lines. It says, Leah Sophia. All right, Leah Sophia makes good jewelry, and some of it is sterling. I know there's a saturated market of it, but they do make quality pieces. I went to a couple of their parties, and they, they really do make nice pieces. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many tangles in here. Cute. Very oh my nice. gosh, this is super cute. I like this a lot. It's very heavy. The beads are glass. Ready? Yeah. We got the stretchy bracelet. Bag this time for stretchy sure. Stretchy bracelet. But all in all, it's not bad for what I paid. $6.56. Not bad at all. Because we got some earrings to sell or wear. They're really pretty. I like the colors. Another Vera Bradley bracelet. All of these stud bracelets. The sterling silver that I'm wearing. So that's not bad. That's the best piece probably. Nice gold chain there. And I like the enamel bracelets that we got. We start making a lot with this Bollywood style jewelry because I'm finding a lot of it in the bags. And I did find this enamel cloisonne. This one's very pretty. This Disney thing. Now that might sell just because it's a pretty little adjustable thing as well. So it was definitely not, you know, a home run. But it was, it'll definitely make me some money, for sure. And I was, we did find a sterling piece. We so didn't do too bad. That's pretty nice. Another little boho piece that I didn't show you. Popped out on me. Much. But even if I had spent $20, I mean, there is a sterling piece there that I could sell. These enamel bracelets sell. Everything, the cloisonne as well, sells. So all in all, we did well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. 
I really would appreciate it if you hit the bell as well because that'll notify you when I put up a new video and when I go live. Again, thanks for everything.